Hola! There's no song in this video, math with me, so just sing it in your head, you know, because you, I know you know it. Anyway, so we're dividing rational expressions today. Sorry, I'm not on the screen. Boring. So you're just going to watch me do it on the little PowerPoint thing. Okay, so let's relate something you don't know. I mean, let's relate something you do know how to do to something that you don't know how to do yet. So we're dividing fractions. I have one half divided by three fourths. And so when you learn how to divide fractions, you learn that you keep, you change the sign, and then you flip the second fraction. So we're gonna go ahead and keep the first one, change the sign to multiplication, and flip, instead of three over four, it's gonna be four over three. And once we do that, we can multiply them, okay? So using that same energy, keep that same energy, right? We're going to do that with rational expressions. So let's say I have five X to the fourth and then eight X squared, Y squared, divided by 15 over eight Y to the fifth. Well, I'm gonna keep the same one. The first one, change the sign and then flip. So keep, change, and then this one's gonna be upside down now. Once it's like this, guess what? It's the same exact way that we did multiplication, so the last lesson should come back to life. We're gonna multiply across, so five times eight is gonna give me 40, x to the fourth times y to the fifth is gonna give me x4, y5. On the bottom, let's look at the orange and look at the pink. Eight times 15 is 120. Um, x squared, y squared. What do we do now? Yes, that we simplify. So 40 over 120, you wanna simplify 40 over 120. It's gonna be one third when you simplify it. X to the fourth, x squared. If I have four x's on the top and two x's on the bottom, how many am I gonna cross out? Good. So it should be left with two. And where are they gonna be left? On the top or on the bottom? On the top, very good. And then we have y to the fifth, five y's on top, two y's on the bottom. How many y's do I have left over? Good. Um, so your final answer should be one third x squared y three. But we don't really need that one. So we don't put it there. Ta-da! And you did it. You keep, you changed, and you flipped. And then you multiplied and simplified. So let's try it again. So example number two, I would pause the video and see if you could do it by yourself. So we're gonna keep, change, flip. So we keep the first one, change the sign, flip. Boom, now see if you can multiply across and simplify without my help. Pause the video, please. Okay, hopefully you pause the video. I know some of y'all pause the video though. So anyway, we're gonna multiply across. So I'm gonna get 12 x squared y squared on the bottom four x to the fourth y. Now what do we do? Simplify. Very good, simplify the coefficients. Simplify the variables, 12 over four. What's 12 over four? Don't say one third. I know some of y'all are like, yeah, it's one third. No, it's three over one, which is three. Okay, we did the X's. We got X squared and X to the fourth. So if I have two X's on top and four X's on the bottom, how many X's do I have left over when I cross stuff out? Definitely two, but where did those two X's, where are they left? On the top or on the bottom? Clearly on the bottom, because I already showed you the answer, right? and then y squared, and then y. All right, example number three. Ooh, things just got a lot trickier, okay? But it's fine, because we know how to do this. My first advice to you is that you factor everything. Factor it all, okay? Um, and this is not a factoring video. This is a, a dividing rational expressions video. So I'm not going to go over factoring step by step, but I am going to show you the answers, right? 
So the first one we get a GCF and the difference of two squares. We're gonna go ahead and do blue, that's a trinomial. A is equal to one. So I'm gonna find factors of C that add to give me B. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the orange. I look at that orange and I can see that there's a GCF. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that GCF out. I'm gonna notice that the trinomial that's left over is A is equal to one. So then I'm gonna factor, find factors of C that add to give me B. And then X squared minus 16. X plus four, X minus four. Yay, so we're going to go to our original problem. It looks like this. We're gonna keep change flip, but we're gonna factor, right? So we're doing a few things. The factored forms that we just took, right? That's what the problem looks like. Keep it, we kept it. It's just factored now. We're gonna change division to multiplication and then we're gonna flip, okay? So the purple part factored on top and the orange part factored, but on the bottom. Keep, change, flip, and we factored. It's going up, we're doing a lot. Hi. <laughs>